gets cold, it gets thick. We're in sub-freezing temperatures. This is actual motor oil that's been out for a couple of hours. This is a dipstick. Now imagine this oil in your oil pan. This is what makes cold starts hard on your engine. When you start your car, the oil is so thick in the oil pan, it won't go up and lubricate your engine. That's why there's so much wear. In preparation for the next extreme lubrication test, we parked the car, lifted the hood, and exposed the engine to a ferocious winter snowstorm in the dead of night. All this to simulate a punishing cold start. The driver prepares for a long cold night inside the car as the snowstorm outside rages on. We are in blizzard conditions. In just hours, the snow begins to bury the car. The drifts are getting higher as the temperature continues to drop. The snow continues to pound the car. The blizzard continues and the engine is covered in snow and ice. Even icicles hang from the hood. You may never be in conditions like this. Your car may never be in a snowstorm as powerful, as cold as this, in the most severe of all cold starts. It's now been over eight hours and the car is almost completely covered. All you can see is the hood sticking out of the snow pile. Remember, there is still a driver in the car prepared to start the engine. Now it's time to see if this car will cold start after having been parked in Arctic conditions for more than 10 hours. The driver is signaled to start the car. He turns the key. It starts. Listen to the driver. Watch. You can see the exhaust rising into the cold air as the engine starts. The mountain of snow is so deep, the car must be pulled out. But wait, there's more. Look as the car pulls to a stop. As the snow is brushed away, you can see that the valve cover was removed, allowing snow and ice to contaminate the valve train and the engine block. This engine not only started, but it continues to run, even though the engine is filled with ice, snow, and water. Now, for the ultimate test, the car will drive away. MSP is protecting this car's exposed engine from an extreme winter storm, the likes of which most drivers will never see.